Hi, I'm Michel from Play It Forward Gaming. In the last few days, there's been a really good question that came up on Reddit, whether or not Ark was good for a nine-year-old kid. I obviously think it's a good game to play with uh, my own kid. Uh, Gabriel is five years old now. He's seen the game for the first time when he was not even four yet. I got three and a half, a little bit more than that. And uh, in the beginning, obviously, I didn't want him to see me striking animals and there's blood and there's things like that. So there's definitely a violence aspect for early children that is not quite access uh, not accessible, but acceptable. Now, as Gabriel uh, grew a little bit older, he was watching cartoons and videos on YouTube and got to see more and more, I don't know, uh, gaming videos. Things like Minecraft, which he absolutely loves to play and watch. Um, the violence there is, is obviously not as realistic as it is in art, but it's still violence. You're still hitting you know, an animal with something, it dies and it gives you meat. Now, I made the decision eventually to incorporate Gabriel more and more in, in watching and playing Ark with me, and it culminated in the creation of actually the channel itself, Play It Forward Gaming, um, and our father and son gameplay. Now, other than the violence, the big thing, and I'm going to echo what the really good response, and I'm going to link, link below to the Reddit post. Most of the people say, and very clearly I agree, that uh, public servers are not the best place for kids to be playing on. Whether you're 9 years old or 11 or 12, I, I don't know yet. I mean, my, my, my only son is 5 years old and I'm making the decision not to let him play in a public server right now. I mean, there's also, there's the language, but there's a, a really uh, an interesting amount of cruelty that goes on that actually can affect the heart of this 40-odd-year-old uh, man, um, where people grieve uh, just for the fun of it. So I don't know if that's other uh, adults grieving or causing harm or uh, killing, I don't know, animals set to passes just for the fun of it. But there's a lot of that that happens in public servers. Now, public servers are great, and they're, they're fun because of that to a certain extent. I mean, there's a real sense of needing to protect yourself. But for a child to lose a tame after so much work goes into it, it can be pretty rough. And then uh, to have adults laughing at you while this is going on might be a bit too much. Now, I think Gabriel, by the time he's seven, probably can, you know, navigate in that world. Maybe, I'm not even sure. But at the moment, uh, I made the decision to create a private server. Uh, it is a public server um, by invitation. or Right now, it's pretty much open, and we're just watching what's going on. So, public servers are not great. Unofficial servers that are geared towards children with adult moderators, I, I think, is the way to go. I'm obviously touting my own server here, but I, I believe we're one of the first in the world uh, to publicly welcome people to come play with their families. You know, uh, could be individuals that want to play on their own, but they're respecting the family theme or whether, the, whether it be the non-verbal non violence or, you know, the language issue, but also not grieving and things like that. If you've watched any of, any of my videos, you know that at least for my five-year-old, just knocking me out with a slingshot can be really his big fun. So I think other people that will play on this server will kind of be into that or will be able to accept that happening. Now, I'm not sure every adult will be into that. So the server itself it is important, I think. So the violence, the server, and I, I'm not quite sure what other concerns that people have. Leave a comment below here or perhaps on that Reddit post that uh, is linked below. And uh, it's great fodder for discussion. Uh, fodder for discussion. Um, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people saying that the violence is too much and all these type of things. But uh, that's about it. I think the only thing I can add is that for the, uh, the fun or the gameplay, the normal grind of a public server, or rather an official server, uh, would not be that great for a kid. I mean, having to hit a rock a hundred times before making a very small thing is not that fun. So on our server, and I'm, I'm, I'm selling it, I know I am, but on our server, gathering things is much easier, taming is much faster, and also we have a whole bunch of really wonderful mods like the Eco Mods, Eco Wonderland, Eco Trees, and it's going to permit people to create these wonderful environments. So we're at the very burgeoning little start of our server. I mean, we only have a few people joined up and there's not much going on. So perhaps that's very attractive to people with kids to get in on it now. And um, I hope it is. And then in, in the future, I'll be able to show how these people interact. 
Now, will there be wars between five-year-old kids? I don't know. I don't know how that's going to play out. So it's kind of an experiment, and uh, I'm helping my kid navigate all these online games, and by creating uh, a server where I can create, a, a, not create, but uh, uh, control a lot of the elements makes me feel a lot more secure that I'm doing something uh, fine for my kid. So that's, that's basically it. Uh, I mean, since I've been selling myself, there's a link below to check out the server if you want to do that. Check out the videos. Maybe you'll find them too violent for your own child. Uh, maybe they're not violent enough. I don't know. But uh, you're welcome to join our server. Uh, we are family friendly and I just want to hear other people talk. Like Maybe there's other things that I'm not doing that I could do that would make this even more family friendly. And there could be things that I'm doing that are damaging to children's health. Maybe I should turn off the gore, for example. Not the gore, there's not a gore setting, but the uh, blood spat splatter. Uh, it's helpful when you're taming to see if the animal is you know, being more killed when you're trying to knock it out or trank it. Uh, so the blood shows you a little bit when it's going on. It, show, it gives you an indication of whether or not what you're doing is, is, is working. It, it, you know, it's reality, right? If something is covered in blood, you're obviously affecting it. But you can turn that off. And actually, you know, that's uh, the parent's role, not just the, not the server side. Uh, there might be a way of doing that server side, but I guess individually, parents can go to the options and turn off that part of the blood, so the blood splatter will go away. So perhaps that's one thing there's to consider that maybe ARC uh, can have things where we can turn on and off on the server side. Parents can decide what they want, uh, you know, turn on chat or not uh, for other servers. So that's it. Thank you very much. Long reply. Love you, Reddit. <laughs> Thank you for the question, uh, motivating me to do a video. Talk to you later.